we hit just a tiny snafu. A couple little things. At least the third one. It's the third one down. Um, we're on uneven ground, which it says not to do it on there, but we did it anyways. We have to be on uneven or it wasn't going to get built. Yeah, so it's a little cockeyed there. And then some of the, well, and part of it is that hole is bent. The pole is bent right where Frank's. So it's not going to be perfect. And then Gabby and I, putting the roof together, had to... This will never come apart, so you know, what we're gonna do if we have to. This was bent totally this way, so somehow we had to figure out how to make it look like this one, which was bent also. So we've had about five poles that are bent, and we had to try to bend them back, and this will not be able to be taken down. So I don't know if we should tell Tractor Supply or what, but it's a little frustrating um, because it came to us like this way, but, Got it. Excuse this one oh well, out. we're not the best builders anyway, Perfect. so I'm sure it would have been messed up anyways. Okay, so we're losing daylight. This is right about the time where we are ready to kill each other, and I've already broken Frank's phone, so we're way past the ready to kill each other, I think. But anyways, we are... Um, dealing with the stinking. Turned out there's a bent part. Coming. Well, there's about five bent parts, so nothing is matching up correctly. So we're having to manually kind of figure out what to do with it. It's really frustrating. But we haven't killed each other. We're still married, yes. and we still have uh, three children. But Aubrey went to a baseball game. She was the smart one. She was the smart one. <laughs> Gabby, you gonna go to a baseball game? I was gonna do homework. She's gonna do homework. Well, she's stuck with us now. Right. So, no choice. we've what? got half of a roof on at least. Let's grab the other one. And oh man, I hope that this other one goes on much more easily than the other. Any words of wisdom, babe? Don't buy this. I think it's going to be good once the kids put together. Projects are fun. <laughs> That's it? Yep. Go. Hey guys, uh, we're back. We're nearing a completion point. <laughs> Um, it turned out this uh, was a little bit Got more it. of a project that we had uh, not anticipated just because of the amount. You gotta put that up top. To the top. Can you reach? The amount of things that the instructions did not okay. tell you, like this needs to be a total 90 degree angle and one of the sides has to be on the outside. A particular one of those sides. And the uh, thing is... We got one. Ah! <laughs> That's my baby. Right, <laughs> Come here. here. <laughs> I'll then <turn> show you. <laughs> my sweet baby boy. Punky, look. Don't tell me his name. Oh my God. For a long time. This is Pumpkin. <laughs> Get off me. <laughs> Take him, bub. Oh. Goodness gracious. Whew. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Pumpkin was an inside cat until he decided when he was a teenager he was going to spray. Yeah. So he went outside real quick, but he loves, he used to come and put his paws up to be picked up like he was like a baby. So I know that our video resolution is not great right now. Yeah. They're all like trying to jump on each other to get by. Well, usually the chickens would be inside their roosting already. But since we're out here, they're wanting us to come and get them and pick them up. So I give you one more shot of what it looks like, and there's the top on it. Oh, it's hard craziness, but look at this beautiful moon. You won't be able to see it because of the resolution, but it's so pretty. So, and you see all the cats all over. There's pumpkin, punkies. This is what he does. Let's see, punkies. Yeah, and then he'll jump up if you don't get him. All right, guys, you see Sharon, she's going inside there to go get one of the eggs. We haven't put the, uh, what are they called? The nesting boxes in there yet, but this is uh, pretty much completed. As you can see, I'll give you guys a wider view here. And we got that completed 
a couple days ago we got a tarp across the top of it to help protect from you know the sun and stuff so that way you're not in direct sunlight the entire time and i think it turned out pretty good considering all the uh, hiccups we had on the way building this and of course here's the uh other chicks that we have the little ones yeah and they're all here they're you can see they're in there with the teenage ones and they only have one adult in there with them <laughs> she's about as big as the teenagers so uh they've already done a pretty good job eating away at the grass already as you guys can see this was all green and grass and now they got it pretty much all tore up already which is good because they're going to continue to clear this land for us so we can get ready to plant stuff i think i think that's what the plan was so uh definitely a fun family project i do suggest you guys do this with your family uh and get stuff that uh, uh you guys can do together this wasn't too hard to put together even though we ran into hiccups with some of the uh things being bent we were able to overcome it and still have a um good container here for the chicken so it was it was good it was fun and the weather right now is perfect for outdoor stuff so highly suggest it so uh, what's the next project on task i need to clean the eggs well now out here what's our next project garden. garden that's our next project so i'm sure sharon will be sharing that with us coming soon i'll be out here helping plant corn or something i'm sure Corn? No, not it corn. Way too late. For corn. Too late for corn, she said. Okay, Actually, I don't. We're pretty late for everything. Yeah. But we'll see. Okay. Well, with that being said, thank you for joining us here on Uniquely Us, and I hope to see you guys real soon. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and share button, and like button. And I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great one, everyone.